in this lecture I'm going to talk about antigen presenting cells and as you know that uh, the three professional antigen presenting cells are dendritic cells these are the dendritic cells B cell B cells and macrophages so antigen presenting cells as can be seen here uh, first internalize antigen uh, by phagocytosis as in case of dendritic cell and macrophage or endocytosis as in case of uh, B cell. So B cell it has membrane bound uh, IgM and IgD and they capture the antigen and internalize it. And following uh, this uh, process, uh, following internalization, uh, this vagosome will, will bind to uh, an enzymatic body known as uh, lysosome and uh, they coalesce together and bind and form vagolysosome. So the antigen is uh, actually a tertiary protein. So by this uh, process, uh, by enzymatic process, uh, it is uh, actually uh, simplified and cut or processed into uh, primary uh, proteins or primary peptides. And this process is known as antigen uh, processing. Actually, these peptides will add uh, endoplasmic reticulum bind to the major histocompatibility plus uh, two inside uh, these antigen presenting cells. And uh, major histocompatibility class two, so the peptides in association with major histocompatibility class two will uh, get expressed as can be seen here this is a major histocompatibility class 2 and this is a uh, processed uh, antigen they are expressed on the surface of antigen uh, presenting cell so now T cell can see and as you know that T cell is a blind cell it is a blind cell it cannot see tertiary protein but however it can see uh, primary protein which is uh, peptide so now uh, T helper can interact with antigen uh, presenting cells as they can see the antigen in a peptide uh, form as I mentioned that uh, there are three professional antigen presenting cells and these are this is uh, dendritic cell so dendritic cell is the most professional antigen presenting cell as they are as they are constitutively express high level of class 2 major histocompatibility molecules and of uh, co-stimulatory molecules so they, they they constitutively express class 2 and co stimulatory uh, molecules so they can activate naive uh, B cell but however uh, in case of uh, macrophage uh, macrophage should, should should be activated first by vago uh, cytosis, by cytosis uh, or by vagocytosing uh, microorganisms before they express class 2 major histo histocompatibility molecules or co-stimulatory molecules like uh, B7 uh, membrane and as can be seen here this is uh, a process that activate uh, upregulation of major histocompatibility molecules on the surface of macrophage as can be seen here this now vagocytosis or infected red blood cell for example or an infected antigen or, or uh, an antigen actually and, and this could be uh, antibody dependent or antibody independent or it could be complement receptor uh, dependent uh, but however 
uh, in case of B cells, uh, it is uh, more or less similar to uh, dendritic cell as they constitutively express class 2 megahertz compatible molecules, but uh, T cells, B cells, sorry, B cells must, must be first activated before they express the co uh, simulatory uh, molecule uh, B7. This is very important. And as can be seen here, this is a B cell, for example, as an antigen presenting cell, it endocytos the antigen or the microbe or non cell molecules, whatever. And, 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 and this, it will process it into peptides and, and, and the processed antigens in association with, with major histocompatible class 2 will get expressed on the surface of B cell. And then now T cell can see the peptide and through the T cell uh, receptor uh, interact and another protein known as uh, CD4 interact with the major histocompatibility. According to this interaction, T cell get activated and produce CD40 uh, ligand that interact with the CD40, and this interaction it will lead to more activation. So the activated B cell will uh, express and upregulate uh, B7 co-stimulatory molecules that interact with cluster of differentiation number. Uh, 28 on the service of uh, T cell, and it is very necessary to send uh, signals to the specific genes in, in the nucleus of, of T cell. So, uh, as I mentioned, that uh, the, these three cells uh, macrophage, macrophages, B cells, and, and, and dendritic cells. These are the professional antigen uh, presenting cell. So they present the antigen uh, usually in association with major histocompatibility class two. And as can be seen here, this major histocompatibility class two, and as can be seen here, it is a form of two domains, alpha domain and beta domain. Alpha is formed of alpha 1 and alpha 2, beta domain is formed of beta 1 and beta 2. Uh, so uh, this, this, this accommodate uh, a peptide with uh, a specific uh, length actually. So the number of peptides uh, should be of a specific size to fit this one. Then uh, the peptide in association with this major histocompatibility uh, class 2 will get expressed on the surface of antigen presenting cell. And as, like, as can be seen here, this is uh, antigen engulfed or bagocytose by antigen presenting cell. Then they fuse uh, lysosome. And uh, due to these enzymes, uh, uh, antigen or the tertiary protein will be processed into uh, peptides. Then the peptides, as a, rep in the as a rep in the plasma reticulum, they will bind to the major uh, histocompatibility class 2. And then the major histocompatibility class 2, in association with this processed peptide, they, they get expressed on the surface of the, uh, as, can see, being seen, as can be seen here, on the surface of uh, antigen uh, presenting cell. However, antigen presentation, uh, as you know that, it, it, it takes place in the secondary uh, lymphoid tissue, and you know that the primary lymphoid tissues are uh, the bone marrow, uh, where the lymphocytes originate, and uh, the thymus gland, where these lymphocytes, uh, where T lymphocytes, actually get uh, mature and and t and b cells they actually patrol the body and and if they did not encounter uh, any uh, pathogen they will die in few days but however they they, they, they they come to the secondary lymphoid 
uh, tissues or organs, for example, uh, lymph node and uh, secondary and and, and, and and also we have uh, spleen, lymph node and spleen and maybe uh, lymphoid associated uh, mucoid tissues like uh, tonsils or uh, bear matches. But however, uh, in, in this is a lymph node and so the antigen will arrive. Uh, actually, the lymph node trap tissue-borne antigen, while the uh, spleen trap blood-borne antigen. So, these antigens or bacteria or whatever or microorganisms, pathogens, they will reach here. Uh, and, and as can be seen here, this is a cortical area, and, and, and the outermost of the cortical area is, is known as B cell area, and then uh, a bit lower to that area is a uh, in the paracortis, actually, this is known as the uh, cell area. So, and also there are uh, other cells uh, in the secondary lymphoid tissues uh, we have here, as can be seen, dendritic cells and uh, macrophages. So, this they will take the antigen process it and present it to T cells. And so, this will activate, as can be seen here, get activated according to that. B cells and differentiate into plasma cells and memory cells, so they give, go deep and they produce uh, antibodies. So presentation, it, it takes place in the uh, secondary lymphoid uh, tissues. But however, in some instances, the the the, the whole story takes place outside these uh, tissues. For example, this is. Uh, female reproductive tract and uh, male reproductive tract and as can be seen here in the female reproductive tract uh, these are B cells and uh, T cells uh, dendritic cells uh, macrophages so they can uh, deal with pathogens at uh, the uh, male female uh, actually reproductive tract, tract and these are uh, known as uh, local immunity actually uh, and the famous example is uh, an HIV, HIV so females can uh, actually produce what is so called uh, local vaginal immunity to uh, human immunodeficiency a virus and similarly uh, for the male uh, this is a male genital tract and, and all these cells are present and can actually uh, take the antigen and present it to antigen to T, T, T cells and the T cell will uh, activate the uh, B cell and this will lead to formation of uh, antibodies and also a cellular immune response may take uh, place here. And in case of kidney, uh, actually, uh, disease in case of uh, nephritis, uh, the, these antigens, the source of antigens, uh, could be uh, outside the the secondary lymphoid tissues. For example, uh, if uh, someone gets infected by uh, tonsillitis or whatever by streptococci by genus, so the streptococci will come uh, here and settle in the basement membrane. And uh, an antibody will be formed here for this. But however, the whole story can take place here. And as can be seen here, this is a glomerular, glomerular capillary. So we can see uh, dendritic cell, we can see T cell, we can see macrophages. So the source of the antigen here, it is due to uh, netosis. Netosis, uh, it is actually. Uh, net formation or neutrophil uh, extracellular traps this neutrophil sends these uh, filaments or projects just to try these sticky filaments or traps to trap the pathogen but however uh, some of uh, the DNA remnants will remain here uh, in this area and this will lead to uh, formation of antibodies against it and also the remnants of this uh, DNA will be taken by the cells here in this area and will present it to 
T uh, cells in this area and the antibodies will be produced uh, in, 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 in this area uh, also. And also in case of uh, rheumatoid arthritis, as can be seen here, this is an inflamed uh, joint. Usually it affects small joint, but however, it is not uncommon. It is uh, to be uh, found in, in big joints. However, the affected uh, joint gets inflamed. And so due to this inflammation, cells will migrate to the joint, all types of cells. We have B cell, we have uh, macrophages, we have dendritic cells, we have T cells, and, and, and however, uh, these cells, they die by apoptosis, so sh they should be uh, engulfed by scavenger cells. But due to absence of these scavenger cells, uh, cetrolin, cetrolin uh, is an antigen uh, uh, produced normally during apoptosis. So cetrolin formation, it is actually a normal physiological process. And so due to accumulation of this cytrulline, it will be taken by the antigen presenting cell and it will be presented to T cell and T cell provide B cell with help and they will produce anti cytrullinated antibodies. However, any cell in, in, in the body can, can act as an antigen presenting cell, but not but but however the the professional uh, professional antigen presenting cells they are only uh, b cell dendritic cell and macrophage but however any 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 cell in our body uh, under abnormal condition for example trauma in in infection uh, uh, so they will uh, uh, act as an uh, antigen presenting cell but none uh, professional, for example, uh, fibroblasts in the skin and connective tissue, or in the tendons uh, during trauma, they can present uh, antigens. Uh, this just uh, helps in in healing. But for example, in some times this may initiate some uh, inflammation. And also glial cells in the brain, uh, they have a protective role against uh, when 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 the brain gets infected by, for example, by viruses and also in case of viral infection the pancreatic uh, beta cell may act as an antigen presenting cell in case for example of insulitis and 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 cymic epithelial cells as can be seen here this is cymic epithelial cell uh, also they can act as a cymic uh, as an antigen presenting cell uh, so they present uh, uh, mega histocomatical has one and two to uh, premature uh, T cell, and, and also uh, in the thymus uh, or as a medulla, medulla, also you find these cymic epithelium cells are present as the cortex, but however, as the medullary level. Maybe we find uh, dendritic cell, macrophages, and all types of uh, antigen presenting cells. So this cymic epithelial cells is non-professional uh, antigen uh, presenting uh, cell. And also thyroid, uh, in case of thyroiditis, uh, some patient will come with uh, inflammation of the, uh, of the thyroid. And vascular endothelial cells, as can be seen here, okay, they can uh, actually express megahistocompatibility class one. So all non-professional, uh, since since all nucleated cell, uh, they uh, express megahistocompatibility class one, so they can act as an antigen presenting cell, but under abnormal condition, except of course uh, red blood cell, which is non uh, nucleated. But however, in uh, all, all body cells, the nearly all body cells are nucleated and can act as a non-professional antigen presenting uh, cells. Thank you very much, Professor Ahmed Borland.